हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन माय न्यू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ सेट थियोरी विच इज़ वेरी यूजफुल टू अंडरस्टैंड डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स वी आर ऑलरेडी फैमिलियर विथ सेट थियोरी फ्रॉम आवर स्कूल लेवल बट वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू रिकॉल दैट वॉट आर द बेजिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सेट थियोरी सो इन दिस लेक्चर सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस सेट थियोरी then we will go for functions counting and uh, we will keep continuing on this uh, series in discrete mathematics so let's start with this first definition of set so we are already familiar with sets so we can define set as an unordered collection of objects unordered means of order is not important uh, we can write Uh, elements in the set as we wish so therefore it is known as unordered collection of objects and the objects in the set are known as elements of the set or members of the set if a is an object of a set capital a then we are familiar with this notation this says that a belongs to a that means a is an element of set a and if a is not an element of a set a we use this notation a does not belong to a so this is just a recall of uh, set theory which we have studied in our school level so as we know sets are denoted by upper case letters like a b c etc and elements in the set are denoted by lower case letter a b c or x y z etc now representation of sets there are several ways to describe a given set we are going to discuss two ways in this lecture there can be more than one ways to describe a same set so first way is to list out all the elements of a set if it is possible if number of elements in our set are finite then we can list all the elements of a set so this method of representing a set by listing all the elements is known as roster method so in this method we are writing elements of a set in this way we consider curly bracket and we write down all the elements in this uh, between this braces or this curly bracket so this represents a set with three elements a b and c so this is one possible way to list all the elements whenever possible so this is one way of representing a given set list out all the elements of a set and this method of representing a set is known as roster method so we can have some examples that suppose we consider set v of all vowels in the english alphabet then we can represent v in this way we write down all the vowels between braces similarly the set e of even positive integers less than 10 even positive integers less than 10 are 2 4 6 and 8 so we write by listing all of these integers in the curly bracket or between braces so you can have any objects in your set it is not necessary that your set is a collection of numbers only you can have any objects so suppose i consider this set which contains a number 2 name of country india sun name of a person say deepak then this is a set containing four members two india sun and deepak so there is no uh, condition for an element to be inside a set it can be an any object so the set is an unordered collection of objects similarly the set of positive integers less than 100 can be denoted by 1 2 3 and we can denote in this way also we write down three dots and write down the last number 
so this is first way to represent a set list out all the elements and write them in the curly bracket so this is roster method for description of a set another useful method is set builder notation so in this method whenever it is not possible to list out all the elements of a set suppose our set is infinite then it is not possible to list out all the elements of a set so in that case uh, we can use properties of members or we can use the property which is required for a member to be inside set so that method is noted known as set builder notation so in this method we characterize the elements by the properties they must satisfy to be member of a given set for example uh, we just discuss this uh, set the set e of all even positive integers less than 10 this we can rewrite by set builder notation as so if we want to represent this set capital e using set builder notation then here the property for an element to be inside e is that that element must be an even positive integer less than 10 so we will write in this way that we consider those objects or numbers x such that this property is satisfied so x is a member of e if x is an even positive integer less than 10 so this is the set builder notation or we can write in this way also x is a natural number or positive integer so we consider x belongs to n such that x is even and x is less than 10 so in this way we can use this set builder notation to represent a given set so we will be using this type of uh, methods for representing a given set throughout the course suppose i want to write down a set of all multiples of a number 3 then i can write in this set builder notation as i will consider those x such that x is a multiple of 3 or i can write in this way also i consider those numbers or those integers such that x equal to 3 n and uh, here i can write n belongs to z so in this way uh, these uh, are the different uh, methods for representing a given set so we have discussed two methods one is listing all the possible elements if possible that method is roster method and another is set builder notation so uh, we will be using this frequently because whenever we have infinite set we have to use properties of elements to represent the set whenever our set is finite then we can use roster method to represent this set so in this way uh, we will continue to discuss basics of set theory so i hope you like this uh, video lecture keep watching thank you very much